Well, happy Halloween to you all. It is I, the Bearded Bearman, and we're back for another Halloween vid. And tonight, today, this day of halloween -ness, I've got two special guests. We've got the Joker hipster himself, Justin. <laughs> Hello. And over here, we've got the great Thomas. <laughs> Uh, and I if you are a fan of um, Munch Bros in the Nerdverse, you would know this handsome voice by uh, a fat man who laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like I belong here. Right. <laughs> it, it, it's like the bearded triune. Okay. And this drill might be a little creamy, so. So we're going to start in Santa Rosa, California, Moonlight Brewing. This is the, their Bony Fingers. It's a black lager beer, and it comes in at 6.7% ABV, and it is only 28 days old. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That was clean. Sounded it's cool. crisp. Hey, it's very uh, black lager. Ooh, smells, I can smell the coffee. Mm, coffee. I smelled coffee on my house at 12 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, beautiful head. Very dark. Yeah, a lot of roasted coffee. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do smell the coffee. A little chocolate. Well, cheers to you, gents. Cheers. And cheers to the great folks out there. Let's see how bony these fingers really are. It's not bad. Ooh. It's a bit of a black coffee. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's just with the aftertaste. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you could drink this at work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you dream? Black coffee was Black coffee. Home. See, it's nice coffee. It's nice coffee. Don't. Mm. And no, you may not have any. <laughs> That's not bad. This is really nice. Super smooth. A little uh, thicker mouthfeel than I was expecting for a lager, but. I'm not mature enough to hear that type of word. The what? Not mature enough to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a fantastic night, Jim. Oh God. <laughs> mm. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. well it, it, it's kind of we're like going through an entire day of drinking here. We're starting uh, with our coffee, uh -huh. and then we're moving to our pumpkin spice, and then there's something weird in the middle. Pumpkin <laughs> spice. And then we got some drool. And then a nice clean double IPA, and then we get to go to bed with a uh, with Jason. Let's move on. <laughs> Always love Jason. <laughs> oh, I love that. I think I'll be Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, let's go get some cream. Mm. Mm. That is actually not bad. Mm. All right, so next we've got Pumpkin Spice Creamin' from Burning Barrel Brewing out of Rancho Cordova. Uh, this is called a Milkshake Ale. So this has got Pumpkin Spice, or I'm sorry, Pumpkin Pie Filling, Pumpkin Spice Sauce, Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow, and Lactose. So this should probably be a bit creamy. Okay. And uh, this is uh, only 14 days old. I mean, who doesn't love milkshakes? All right. right? <laughs> I don't know if I've had a pumpkin milkshake, so. Yeah, that's going to be a first for me. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yeah. It looks like cider. Yeah, or a oh, very light beer. Yeah. And that nice. came in at 7.1%. So, a little high. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, it's not 
Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, there, there, there's, yeah, a, is. there's a pumpkin pie having a party in my nose right now. This smells like the pumpkin cake that I made last week. Oh, it, it almost smells like a cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Does. I need to make a cheesecake. I think I'm going to make a pumpkin pie cheesecake. Oh, God. I want a cheesecake now. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yep. Am I drinking alcohol with that? That just tastes like I'm drinking pumpkin flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have a little bit of the residual of the black, so I feel like I just had my cream in my black coffee. <laughs> did we go to Starbucks? <laughs> we just did it. Barista. God. Wow. Can I get a venti? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a Godzilla size for this? <laughs> Hmm. I feel very basic right now, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a different story, but I'm not going to Wow. Just as okay. a problem, dude, I can't believe a good counselor. <laughs> uh, Even the bird's got to jump on that one. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to still... Um, there, uh, how many of these would you drink? In all seriousness, I'm a bit the biggest fan of pumpkin. Okay, so that one glass would be good for you? Yep. All right. I experienced it. I don't hate it. I would not personally go back for it. Well, that's fair. But I would recommend it to anybody who does. There you go. How about you? I kind of agree with him. I, like, I don't hate it, but it's not my first choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this would be definitely far from my first choice, but it's a, it's a good have, experience. You can drink it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great, like, yeah. yeah. If someone hand me a can of it, I would drink it. Uh, Just to say that you did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. That reminds me of the first time I went to um, Vegas to see Ryan and Kristen. We went to this place called Nacho Daddy out there. Oh. I went there and just Nacho and just the pun in the name alone because I love puns. And, puns are um, the highest form of humor. Huh? Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> um, they had this thing called a scorpion shot where they had a, a, a small dead scorpion in the shot. Uh -huh. And if you did it, you got the shot glass. I was like, I'm, I'm on vacation. Fuck <laughs> I drank it, and I knew that if I crunched on it, I I, I would have spit it out. So I had to swallow the thing whole. I've heard about that, <laughs> and I I'm trying to decide if I'm a man enough to do it. Okay, okay. All right, let's go to Vegas. Cool road trip. Great nachos I mean, too. I mean, my thirtieth is next year, so. Oh, all right. All right, let's move on to something else weird. Uh, <laughs> midnight Hour. This is from Phantom Carriage Brewing, and they're in Carson, California. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a mixed fermentation saison blended in and aged in Merlot barrels and re-fermented on black currants. Uh, the little uh -huh. seedling thingies that are spicy. Uh -huh. Thank you. There you go. Uh -huh. Learning things. Uh, this comes in at 6.2% ABV. Learning Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More you know. <laughs> Today we know. Okay. Um, there is no date on this, so who knows how old this is. It is 2020, so anything is possible. Oh, God. It's a really big bottle. Is that why I got the? Is that why I get the big glasses? For? Yes. <laughs> so everyone uh, can have a lot. I learned. I pieced that together by myself. Oh my! Well, hello. That. Huh. Well, look at you, Mister. Looking all fancy. Can I get my pinky up higher? Uh, well, I mean, I have a nub I can put up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> my bandage is done. So I mean, I got the fancy pinky. You got a fancy uh, pinky. He's got a nub, and I've got uh, a bottle. <laughs> it, changes from purple to green. it changes color? Yeah, from purple to green. Uh -huh. Depending on the lighting that it hits. 
That's crazy. I think I, I think uh, when I was in like junior high or something, I, 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 I had hair dye that was like that. If, if I was just kind of standing there, my hair was black. But as soon as the sun hit it just right, I swear to God, it turned blue. Nice. Or, or, or like it, it had like a blue shine to it. It was cool. Yeah, uh-huh. naturally green hair. <laughs> And it was the healthiest hair you ever had. <laughs> it's good to the Creamy. skin. It, is. it really is. All right, to this um, odd color. I like the glass that it's in alone. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like magnificent. Uh, it's too fancy. Like, we, like, we have to have... Oh, hold on. We have to have pinkies out of this. Got to get the knob out there. Uh, it smells tart. It smells like wine. Yeah, at six percent, I'm surprised. All right, I'm going in. Yep. That definitely tart. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a sweet tart that liquefies. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I had some coconut. Oh. Mm. You have a cake bun? That is a wild adventure in my mouth. Uh, I like that. Said. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got. It's like it's like cherry meets something else. Chinese lemon? Ch- Chinese lemon. Yeah. yeah. Chinese lemon? What did I hear you? I don't know what I'm hearing right now. Sorry. Your taste buds are gone. You can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> this makes sense. It, it, Do you speak real? Yes. Uh... <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <clears throat> we have no idea what's going on anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> that's right. Blow it on the uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I hate that song. Yeah, you say it. Can my girlfriend listen to it all the time. <laughs> Don't blame the girlfriend. I blame the girlfriend. <laughs> She's not here to defend herself. <laughs> No, but the, no, but the evidence will be here for eternity. For eternity. Oh God, yeah, that's right. I'm looking out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I'm more suitable on the couch tonight. I don't <laughs> so you're camping? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> camping well, trip. At least you got a fun beer to go with your camping. <laughs> that's accurate. Um, it's interesting. Very tart. Very tart. One hundred percent of that. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad we're gonna follow it up with another sour. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> I feel like a package of like warheads would be like fantastic right now. Right. That's what it tastes like. Warheads. That makes perfect sense. It is liquid warheads in my mouth. Things suddenly wetting me. <laughs> <laughs> because if we're gonna drink something classy out of a classy glass, you have to have the classy way of saying that's what she said. I like that. Well I like done. it. Yeah, it's great. Mm. Well, there you go. That that's Halloween in a glass right there. Mm. Because it looks scary, and it's even more scarier in your mouth. <laughs> <We're not laughs> <on the floor. laughs> I can't be the only one to call him. Call those up today. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to Burning Barrel in Rancho. This is their Double Jammer Clown Roll. Mm. 
It's called an Imperial sour, uh, Smoothie Sour. Smoothie Sour? Smoothie Sour. Oh, shit. We're about to start floating. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm down. I want to feel weightless for once in a while. We all float down here. So this is a uh, series trio spooky fruits combined product of jammy fruit explosion of beer. Okay, raspberry, pomegranate, black currant. Oh, maybe currants are fruit. Huh. Not a C. We're gonna have to Google this eventually. We're gonna have to. Huh. Uh, flavors of ripe berries, dessert wine, fruit candy to satisfy your sweet, uh. sour tooth. Okay. So it says keep cold and roll can before pouring. And this is nine days old. So, roly, roly. Wait, you mean? Roly in the hay. This part of the 21st? Yes. Be happy share the birthday. <laughs> oh, this is your birthday face. <laughs> it's his Friday. Oh. Better looking brother. Oh, that's oh. good stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, this comes in at 8.1%. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm here for it. Now we roll it, and... Ooh, yeah. my God. I like the way that looks. Oh, wow. It's like a pink Starburst. Oh my gosh, a pink, sour pink Starburst? I'm, yeah, I'm here for it 100%. I'm, I want to be pissed, but it doesn't taste like pink Starburst. Uh, I mean, I am not too, because you said it. I apologize. Oh. Mm. Okay. Alright, smell test first. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, well. <laughs> wow. Like something I drank in high school. <laughs> 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 it really smells like something I drank in high school. It. She had a name. <laughs> uh, it looks like Jamba Juice. It tastes like Jamba Juice, but that's only because I had to cheat. So, here we go again. Mm. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. I, I have no control on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's very thick. I can see where you get the Jamba Juice uh, <laughs> flavoring from. Mm -hmm. the, the aftertaste is very Jamba Juice like. Yeah. Yeah. This is alcoholic Jamba Juice. <laughs> Jamba Juice, if you start doing that, we want in. Yes. We came up with it. Yeah. Collaboration. Down. <laughs> 100%. Mm. I'd go back to working on Jamba Juice. I can see why Mrs. Beerman liked it so much. That is... Uh. It's tart, but it's not... Overwhelmingly tart as the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that your partner? Sure, it's not. <laughs> sure, I'm twitching. I, I'm just over here having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I look all the time. <laughs> damn perception, be damned. <laughs> Don't throw anything at me today. <laughs> Shark happy. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. This is causing more facial expressions than I expected to have with this makeup. <laughs> it still looks great, though. It does. Thank you. Thank you. You got more. You. I put more effort into this than I did for work. Oh, good. Uh, most people do. Priorities. <laughs> I think so. Beer, work. I mean, work does give me beer money, so. There is that. Work is important for beer money. Uh, True. Another one. I think I'm good with just one of those. I think I'd have two. 
Two? Yeah, I'd okay. give it up to. I would almost want to freeze it so it's more <laughs> Do you think our mutual friend would enjoy that? <laughs> or her, if I tell the label. Would her head like just implode on itself? Um, if I take the label off, she'd enjoy it. <laughs> now that could be a fun game. Uh, Get a bunch of beers, pull all the labels off, and then open it up, and like, here you go. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I see a new episode in our future. Mm. Well, that, there you go. Cleanse the palate. Cleanse it. All right, we're going to something more normal beer related. This is from Alvarado Street in Salinas, California. Yes. Yeah, this is Spooky Juice. Double IPA, 8.1 ABV, and it is also your birthday beer. <laughs> and this says Night of the Living Dank. So, oh. this could be entertaining. I think that's going to be dark. Dark. Dank, not dark. Uh, oh, that one. <laughs> Death. <laughs> The the other the other green years of metal shows. <laughs> I mean yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh. it's like a real beer. Well, hello. How was you doing a wild beer? Yeah, say <laughs> say hello to your pink friend right here. Oh, oh that wow. smells so good. Double IPA, Salinas, no other useful information, an amazing skull, great artwork. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Hey, it looks like a real unfiltered beer. It's got a white head, bubbles. Oh. You can smell the dank. Almost a little like an orange. A little bit, yeah. All right, here we go. This is probably our palate cleanser. Oh, it's spooky. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel that. It's almost a little underwhelming. It kind of requires a second taste. There you go. <laughs> Alvarado Street makes some incredible beers. Uh. It's got it's got brightness to it. Hmm. Well, that was slightly disappointing. <laughs> this is like this is this is the equivalent to first time beers. <laughs> It's two weeks old. It's fresh. It's beautiful. Oh my god. The way the foam's just sitting there, it looks like a fucking orange slice. I Look see it. Oh wow. That's not disturbing. That's not disturbing at all. And we would show you, so but weird. you're not age appropriate to see that. <laughs> yeah, no, not disturbing at all. So some people see tea leaves, we use fun leaves. That's just the proper divination. <laughs> <laughs> hi -ya, if you, hey -ya, hi -ya. If you can still see a few shots after six drinks. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> suck it, Trelawney. <laughs> It's a good beer. It's Can I just... do something for the future with this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see you something for the future, but if you drink enough, you'll fast forward to it. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not normal? <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, are, are we normal? No. Well, I think we're the right normal. Everyone else is weird. I'm normal. I'm going to have to pick this one up again to try it by itself. 
because I don't know if my taste buds are just overwhelmed from everything else. Because El Dorado does good <clears throat> I guess they could have a bad beer. I mean, even Metallic had a bad song. Cream didn't it, though. Huh? Cream didn't it, though. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> sort of bad album. <laughs> Talking Metallica. Oh, Metallica. Okay. Yeah, Metallica. All right, so this was for you, Lars. For yeah, our last beer for this great Halloween is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Jason Voorhees, oh. next to him. Thank you. And this is Track Seven Brewing out of Sacramento, California. This is Waiting for October. This is their 2020 Apocalypse <laughs> Edition, and it's Jason wearing a COVID mask. Because when you're already dead, you need to protect yourself. I mean, he's protecting <laughs> others, okay? Oh, you're right. I apologize. <laughs> he's protecting others. I forgot. This is a pumpkin spice latte stout. Imperial stout with coffee, pumpkin, vanilla, lactose, and pumpkin spice. I'm sorry, but I, but after seeing Jason with the mask, I feel like it's going to taste like COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it might kill it, too. So it's gonna taste like Corona. Boo boo, come on, come on. Let's find your own beach, man. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Do we need a lime for this? We'll find a out. Lime salt. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> and this baby comes in at eleven point two percent. So it's going to be thick and it's going to be heavy, and that's not going to open this. We're going to open it with our fingers. Wow. Oh. It, it was almost chunky. Oh. So that was a bit of an aggressive pour. Let's see if we can be less aggressive. Be, be less aggressive. Be, be less aggressive. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't add syllable. <laughs> be regressive. Be, be regressive. Progressive or regressive? Regressive. Less, ah. less aggressive? Less aggressive. Ah. Well, hello, my friend. You are BS. It is a solid stout. The artwork is incredible. Oh, I didn't tell you how old it was. Uh, it's two weeks old. Awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, your birthday was the day to brew and can beer. That's Yay! three beers. That's half the beers. Do you have a stamp on your back on when you were canned on? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent tattoo. <laughs> created <Get> created <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, I'm a Showtime, I challenge you to get your birthday on your rear. Done. There you go. And it has to be in like the font of one of those giant rubber yes. stamps. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, with the rubber stamp outline too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know a tattoo artist. <laughs> Oops, I all right, here we go. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining me for this 2020 Halloween. And, uh, it's the least spooky part of the year so far. So far, yeah. <laughs> Six beers, it makes everything better. It really does. Ooh. So, cheers to you folks out there watching, and cheers to the last end of this year. Woohoo! All right. Let's hope next year's better. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. There's Tastes chocolate. Like the butt. You definitely some chocolate, my dude. Wow. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Isn't it? I'm usually not a fan of like that, coffee. That like there. Tastes like it. Yeah, I'll say this like this, 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 English is your tough. second language? I, exactly. First is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Irish. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I'm usually not a fan of um, coffee beers, but this 
this is well balanced. This is pretty good. And I'm not just saying that because I have Jason tattooed on my arm. No, it, it, this is very good. That's well done. Uh, <laughs> this was an expensive beer. This was $26 for a four pack. Oh my. Holy shit. <laughs> so, hey, with that being said, uh, my birthday was like two weeks ago, and you completely missed it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't spend it on you. <laughs> No, yes you did. <laughs> yes you did. You yeah, bought you three go. beers. That's right. I bought you six beers to enjoy. <laughs> Two weeks out of your birthday. Because <laughs> I picked them up on your birthday. There you go. I tried. Yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hurt to try, right? That's right. Uh, I believe in you, boy. Oh, man. I want to see Dr. Cheese down this. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't think he'd mind it, though, good. but after, like, chugging it, yeah, Ooh. that that's going to be a tough one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I still think that he should do it, though. I think chugging one of these beers is a disrespect to the beer. And the brewer. Wow. Like, I'm being rude right now. That is really good. In... Uh, and, and Full disclosure, I actually had a can when I first picked it up, but it was so cold, you couldn't taste anything. And I was like, oh, this is really a me mediocre beer. But since this has sat out for us to try everything, and it has warmed up to a proper stout temperature, mm -hmm. this is really good. This is a... Uh... Yeah, this is a proper sipping beer. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. Only thing I can make it better is a nice big stogie right now. Damn, some, I forgot those out. Some great eighties music playing. <laughs> I know who that was for. <laughs> Will she ever watch this? We don't know. I'll make her. <laughs> mm. Well, I hope you are all being safe out there on this Halloween. Uh, we have some more drinking to do, but you don't need to see that part of the show. There's more drinking? There's more drinking. Ah, so That's my difference of my we, night. There you go. <laughs> so we want to wish you a happy Halloween. Be safe out there. Be considerate of others. Uh, remember, somebody loves you. And thank you all for watching. And remember, every beer is like a good book. You have to crack it open to find out what's inside. Cheers to you all.